excites me about programming short films is that you really get a chance to look at film from around the world um, and get a glimpse of what's going on in the world of film and just around the world in general in under 40 minutes. But one program that I'm really excited for this year um, that I worked with my, with my two other female colleagues um, is a program called Who Runs the World, which um, I'm considering our feminist anthem program of the year um, that really felt necessary in uh, 2018 in this sort of times up era that we're in, um, getting this opportunity to, to really flex as women and, and show that we, we have a really special uh, group of female filmmakers that are making films about women. I like I want people to leave this screening and just want to break some glass ceilings. Like it, it's like really an empowerment program that I am ready for some people to see. One, one of my favorite things about short films and people going to see them is they get the opportunity to see the future of filmmakers. People don't even realize that so many filmmakers are starting as short filmmakers and then they develop into these incredible feature filmmakers as well. Film in general is just such a great platform for people to be able to express themselves. Um, and one of the great things about short films is they can go so much more under the radar. Um, some of the folks that I talked to when I was at Claremont Ferrand this year, filmmakers from Iran and India, were talking about how they use short filmmaking as a way to make more provocative films whereas perhaps in feature films there would be some censorship that would block them. Um, by making a short film, they can say things that are a little bit more provocative, whether that's about sexuality or their thoughts on the government. Um, they aren't as uh, on the radar as perhaps they would be if they were making a feature film. I just hope that every person at the festival comes and checks out at least one short film program. 